Welcome back to... What am I playing? Right. Flarblot. Fagus new. This is Liz O'Malley. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? I have no idea. Tell me about yourself. I don't have time to give my life story to everyone that passes through. Is there something I can actually help you with? I don't know. Can you tell me about the Embassy? The Embassy offices are to your left, while the barracks and living quarters are to the right. If you're looking for a history lesson, I suggest you talk to Ambassador Crocker. I'm looking for the ambassador. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Okay. You seem to be having fun chatting with me, so I'm going to leave you alone. So Crocker is this way, in the barracks. Is there anywhere else I can go in the barracks? Without uh, me. Pop us. I hear you've been meeting with Mr. House in the Lucky 38. Hmm. I bet you think you're pretty special, don't you? Not really. Special or not, stay out of trouble. And more importantly, stay out of my way. But, but what did I do to you? I'd like to know more. Not much to tell. Keeping the troopers in line and monitoring the strip keeps me busy. It's my job, and I'm going to do it well. That's good. Now, if that's all, I've got work to do. Okay. Well, uh, what's happening? Yeah, more of the usual. We're keeping an eye on the troopers to make sure they don't do anything stupid. That's yeah, good. The only stupid one we've had lately is Private Irwin. He's starting to cause more trouble than he's worth. Hmm. Okay. okay. Well, can you tell me about the Ambassador? Yeah, Crocker isn't too bad. He mostly the stays in his office now. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. If you have any questions about Bang. the Embassy, you should ask him. He'll oh. talk your ear off. Great. Okay, good talking to you, Pappas. Bye. No, you were leaving the room. Apparently, you changed you change your mind. Patrol uh, military police. Almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Really? Again? With that shit? Okay, can I? Get, let me look through that here. Oh, they don't see me. Ah, oh, German. They only see me when I'm looking at it. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. do, do. You, will you enjoy your push-ups? You want to, like, go away? Yes. 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 Strip letter, strip letter. Ha ha. To Private Irwin, if I hear of you pulling another prank on one of my troops that causes them to return to duty without their clothing fully intact, I'll personally make sure you get transferred to Camp Forlorn Hope and don't come back. I'll be watching you. Lieutenant Asheville. Okay, well, uh, that's the second time I've heard about this Irwin character. It sounds like he is uh, not that great at his job. But let's find out where I, if I can I can find him. Well, that's a bathroom. He's not in there. What about in here? Nope, that's also a bathroom. More barracks? Ooh, private room with a book and several other books. That's not the thing that bothers me about New Vegas compared to the other games. I mean, there's so many intact pre-war books. They're very important. Like, every single pre-war book you find in Fallout 3 and 4, for that matter, has a purpose in some kind. Is that my shadow? I don't know if that was my shadow. That's creepy. Um, but New Vegas, there's just a bunch that are just there. And they serve no purpose. Ah, Irwin. Hey, hey, hey. So you're the one that went into the Lucky 38. I bet that was pretty creepy. It was. What can I do for you? Um, what can you tell me about Captain? Now, she may be a bit of a hard ass, but she's the best damn captain we've had here. I'd be careful around her. We don't want to get on our bad side. Sounds like you already are. Tell me about yourself. What have you heard? I know people think I'm a little on the wild side, but I'm just trying to have fun, you know? Just mm -hmm. because I happen to get into fights and like to pull pranks doesn't mean anything. Actually, it does in the military. I don't know about the ass. He's a little stiff and stuck. Can't seem to speak Doesn't good. leave the office that much. Always surrounds himself with papers and reports. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to play a prank on him, but there's no way I could ever pull that off without getting in trouble from Captain Pappas. Mm. A prank, you say? <laughs> yeah, I got a few ideas that I'm working on. Maybe I'll let you in on it once I have something. Oh, that's a bad idea. Uh, what's happening in the strip? Us troopers mostly come to the strip for our R&R. &R. We blow off some steam by gambling, drinking, partying, or fighting. You mean you do? If you're looking for a good time, I'd suggest hitting up Gamora. The girls there are pretty nice, if you know what I mean. I don't like what you mean. Oh, yes. Bring it I do on, buddy. play Caravan. All right. Private Irwin. Okay, that's a bit over further than it should be. But yeah, auto match the 50. <sighs> Time to up my victories a bit. BRB. <sighs> well, that was a fucking ordeal. But there we go. I have 15 Caravan wins. Oh, God. I'm halfway to the achievement of 30. I tell you, Caravan, shut your whore mouth. God, I hate Caravan. 
there anything of interest in here? I forgot why I was here. God damn it, I hate this place. I don't. I just hate my caravan. <laughs> and that, like, I had four wins immediately. It was just like, boom, 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 boom. Great. Okay, one more win, and I don't have to play anymore. And then somehow, somehow, he beat me four times in a row. Which doesn't make any goddamn sense, because a lot of them were like, oh yeah, no, there we go, I have two of them sold, which means I should be winning. And then, you know, he has none of his sold, and then he plays one card. You lose. How? How? What, what is the, the rules? It's glitchy. Fun report. Fun report, Ambassador Philip Granger. With my term here coming to a close, I'm taking a moment to reflect on my accomplishments here. Sadly, they are few and far between. The politics between the families and Mr. House have made it incredibly difficult to deal with any of them. Mm. Apologies. The Amertas are a group of sleazy lowlifes pretending to be something they aren't. The White Glove Society gives me the creeps. There's something strange going on with them, and I'm not sure. I want to know what it is. The chairman are thugs that dress themselves up in fancy suits pretending to be cool. I'm surprised that we've lasted this long without killing each other. Although it's probably due to Mr. House and his Securitrons. We have our work cut out for us here. I wish my term here was more fruitful than it was, but I'm glad to be returning to the NCR. Philip Gregor. Well, all right, that was, that's interesting. Can I enter, no, no terminal for me? All right. So, I guess it's time to go, oh, no, there's still a door, still a door. Blind door number this one is, oh, it's a uh, cracker. See, now I should have torn, you told me to go the other way. Stealing is wrong. Final report, Ambassador Susan Edith. The past two years serving as the MPCR ambassador for this trip has been trying at best and downright horrid at worst. Living here in New Vegas has been horrible. The accommodations here are barely serviceable, which is a deliberate and malicious act by Mr. House to hinder the NCR's, uh, NCR's efforts here in New Vegas. On top of that, I am constantly surrounded by drunken idiots who gamble away their money. My work here has been fruitless. I've been unable to get anywhere with Mr. House, or actually meet Mr. House, since I, all I have dealt with is Securitrons that only serve to frustrate me further. Still, after all this time, we have been unable to come find a common understanding between Mr. House and the NCR goals for the area. I look forward to returning home to the NCR, and I wish my successor luck. You're going to need it. Suzanne Edith. Susanna Edith. Alright, am I... Did that... How did that put me... Did it have weight to it? No, I'm not over encumbered. Oh, I turned on caps lock. <laughs> I just say I was empty. Okay. Well, glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. Okay. I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. Yes. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. Yes. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now... It's the people here that are going to suffer the most. Mm -hmm. I'm not willing to let that happen. And I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. You have my attention? Go on. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. Okay. I would like you to get in contact with them. And then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Makes Someone sense. with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes I against don't have the NCR, as well as additional benefits and Ooh, perks. I like benefits. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Hells yeah. I'll find them and talk to them. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. Okay. Um... Oh, no. No. I always have time for a good game of caravan. I hope you're up to the challenge. Me too. Holy shit, he's betting a thousand? Oh, this is going to be fun. Time for five more games of caravan minimum. Yay! What do we do now? I guess I just place this. No. I literally 
I can't place it anywhere. It's an auto. Oh, this is fucking. This game cheats. It cheats. Don't talk to. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I shouldn't have that out. Talk to it's me, good you to piece see of such an outstanding shit. Citizen. Fucking cheating ass bullshit. If they get two caravans, auto win. If I get two caravans, no, no, no. You need that third one to win. Fucking horseshit is what it is. Yes, I have two coastal caravans. Do <clears throat> alone, you little bastard. Go back to sleep. <laughs> yes. You know, you're making it really difficult to be seething with rage. Okay. I got this little guy. Paw at my arm. Oh, now you don't want to, you don't want to see people to see you? Say hi, Miko. Hi. He doesn't like being held. He wants attention. But well, he wants it on his own terms. Which is him laying there, pawing at my arm as I'm trying to play games. That dog is ass. Alright, back to being seething with rage. Look, victory. Why is this not a victory? Why? No. Why do I suddenly need to get fucking perfect? Why? There. Look at that. Dark! Oh. painful death. I'm gonna get Boone, I'm gonna get Eddie, and then everyone's going to die at Caesar's Legion's camp. Because I have rage that needs to be dealt with. So much anger. Follow I've got me. your back. to make one stop before I head to Cottonwood Cove. Uh, depending on what happens when I make that stop, you'll probably see it, but more than likely you will see Cottonwood Cove next, so see you there. Um, Alright. Oh, that was already on. Okay. So I was trying to lean my the Liberator against the wall since... Oh, wow, he's um, <clears throat> so it's not gonna bring it with me, and it has weight that I don't need to be carrying. And uh, I uh, I did something even better. It's probably gonna stay there for a while, just because that's awesome. Anywho, uh, back to those little side things we had to do before I had to cut my cove. So it just recently occurred to me that I have like thirty thousand credits, and I said that once I got twenty thousand credits, I was gonna come back here and make a couple of purchases. So. Uh, I'm back. You're back. Do you need medical attention? I am back. Thigh implant. Yep, yep. And I want regeneration. That's the Phoenix mon. That'd be great. The implant. Uh huh. Here you go. Have a seat in the. Okay. Now I regenerate health. Okay. You're back. Do you need medical? Yes. Thigh implant. All right. Let All right. Yes, I am. And so they're on. That would be the. Yep. It won't make you bulletproof. Yes, here you go. Have a seat in the... Perfect. Alright, so now it uh, takes a lot more to get through my skin, because I'm close to bulletproof. Let me see if it actually shows up in my perks. Perks. Animal friend, shape of fam, bug stomper, bug stomper. Oh, nice. Comprehension, educated, enhanced sensors, yep. Heavy handed, intelligence, ooh, intelligence, plus one intelligence, intense training. Lord Death. Oh, okay, there's one because everything's that one. Nice. So, with this one, regeneration is ability embrace. You're causing you to regenerate hit points. Okay, ranger takedown, spotter, stonewall, strong back, subdermal. Ooh! 
uh, increase my total damage threshold by four. So that's a plus four. Like toughness alone would give me plus three each time. So that's useful. What's my damage threshold at anyway? Uh, condition effects. It's not gonna tell me, is it? Oh wait, no. So it'll tell me here. Damage threshold is forty. That's awesome, especially since my armor only does twenty. Five. So, hey. Uh, so that aside, oh wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> I still have twelve thousand caps left. Is there any implants I can You're get? back. Do you need? Yes. Implant. All right. All right. Yes. Um. Luck. If I implant the probability calculator. Okay. It's not. That's great. Here you go. Have a seat in the. Okay. So I have eight thousand caps now. I can get two more if she allows it. Let's find out if she'll allow it. <clears throat> back. Do you need? All right. Perfect. I will increase my endurance. The nociception regulator modifies your cardiovascular system, and you won't tire as quickly. Mm. The price. All right. Here you go. Have a seat. In Sweet. I have four thousand caps left now. Uh, so with that, my intelligence, my endurance, and my luck is boosted up to nine, I believe. All right. Stats. Nope. Special. Yeah. See. Nine. 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 Uh, ooh, luck is only at 8. Okay, so my strength is already at 9. I can actually boost up to 10 if I wanted to right now. Uh, agility, I might up my agility. <clears throat> charisma would be useful. I'm actually going to go Charisma for the next one. You're back. Because it's the one that needs it the most, honestly. All right. Karam. No, because my skill works for that. You know, I'm just get faster. The reflex booster does exactly what it says. Speeds up your reaction times. For 4,000 caps, I can mm -hmm. attach the implant to your central nervous node. That sounds awful. Here we go. Have a seat in the... Perfect. I'm now out of money. Okay. Let's see if You're I back. can actually get another implant. Oh, jeez. All right. Great. I can get... I can boost one of those three. Ta I'm probably going to do strength next just to get it up to 10... Yeah, so I just spent like 36,000 something caps, but my luck's at 8, my intelligence is at 9, endurance is at 9, strength's at 9, my charisma's at 6. Agility's now at 2, so I should be moving maybe a little bit faster. That's why I upped it, because I'm hoping that it'll actually increase my movement speed a little bit, because my god, this is getting nightmarish. Um, <clears throat> next, I'm, well, I'm, I'm headed to Cottonwood Cove, but I want to try and get something very specific before I head over there which will make sense when it's time. So I'm just gonna go hunting, basically, for what I need. So, I was on my way to the Gibson Scrapyard or Prim to try and buy an item I'm looking for, and I figured, you know what, let's Howdy, talk lady. to this guy again, because I think I have more information for him. There we go. Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. Sounds good. I'm giving you a real opportunity here. How about some compensation? Sure. I suppose it's only right you get a little something for your troubles. Here, my daddy left me this gun. Guess I don't need it no more. The mysterious Magnum. I got the mysterious stranger's gun. I didn't expect that. That's really cool. Let's see if it look how it does it look. Wow. So not only does it have like look at the art on that. That is so pretty. And That is both amazing and annoying as all hell. I love it. Okay, so back to the important ones. And I'm going to go back to trying to buy an item. Which should be much easier to find than it is. To Cottonwood Cove. Which is probably still irradiated to shit. Oops. Ooh, there's a, a green marker? I think it's just her. Wish I could help you, Daryl. I really do, but apparently removing you will kill you, so... Caesar's Legion. Like, even when I'm playing an evil character for the sole purpose of being an utter douchebag who works for Caesar's Legion, I still feel super dirty being that level of douchebag. Wait, seriously? I'm still marked as... I'm not, like, wearing anything Caesar... No? Okay. Because I'm supposed to come down here and he's supposed to be like, I'm not aggro to you. Let's take you to the get the captain. But he's, he's super aggro to me right now. Uh, that's... Oh, well, jeez. 
He's also wearing a radioactive vest, which is an interesting touch. That's a first for me. I guess he doesn't like that uh, I still... Oh, Jesus, he hurts, too. He hurts a lot. I don't know who you are, but you need to stop doing what you're doing. There we go. Bye-bye, Cursor. Oh Well, I mean, you invited me and then attacked me. Not my fault. Nice touch, though. Caesar's favor has failed. Hey, I tried. I was going to come in all peaceful-like, and why am I not able to get... There we go. Whatever. Just let me chop it for it. So. Now. I, wow, okay. You done? How many more quests have I failed? I get it. I can't do the Caesar's Legion shit anymore. Shockingly, didn't want to. Good. Pop up with another one. No? Alright, let's save. Alright. We take this boat. It's probably the last one we ever take. I'm ready for that. Are you? <laughs> Caesar O'Neill had hit him. That's what the scope's for. I like it. Uh, wait. Does your hunting rifle even have a scope on it? It does. Alright, I didn't realize I gave it to you. Alright. So, uh, there we go. Well, Boone, let's go to hell. Hi, friends. Oh, they don't like me. Let's go golfing. Main gate guard my ass. Oh, well. Dead now. So, uh, welcome to the entrance way to the fort. Right up there is uh, the Legion and its main fort. There's Legionnaires everywhere. I'm just going to do some looting and uh, let Boone do most of the killing. So, this required... Oh, wait. This shouldn't be much of a challenge for me, which is good. Are we done? Yes, he's dead. He, Boone already put his gun away. That's how long ago he's been dead. Main gate guard has key. Weapon footlocker key. Perfect. Anything in footlockers? Yeah, I didn't think so. So I'm pretty sure this is the... Normally when you come in, if you're being friendly, they take... Oh, those were empty. They take your weapons and all of your drugs and put them in those footlockers, unless you can convince them otherwise. And then... I'm being shot at. That's rude. Um... If you, convince him, if you don't convince him otherwise, you can get the key from him and then get into those chests. Because the only way to get him into them is with his key. And then you get that. So there's usually also a salesman over here who's a merchant who works with the Caesar's Legion because he's like, whatever they pay. I think he's probably running in terror because I kind of aggroed everyone. Also, this is a thing. Yeah. They don't have Brahmin workers. They just have slaves. Oh ah, here's the salesman. Hey. So I hear the honcho is one of them skip families. All right, well. Oh no. Don't worry, kids. I'm not going to kill you. You're not old enough to know what you're doing is wrong, and which who you work for is evil. You still have time to change. Oh hey, you look important. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can't run from me. He's trying. He was really trying. That lot of good it did him though. We go here. It's gonna be the last place we go. They're marching on through here like they're nothing. All right, well, let's keep going up. Yeah, poor slaves. Uh, I'm gonna kill. No, there's nobody right here. Okay, so everyone, all those red, other red markers are inside this gate. So I'm gonna get my inventory a little bit better organized and then go into the next section. Hi. Well, howdy. What's up? Not much. How are you? All right, good talking to you, kid. He seems nice. I'm going to kill his entire family. That's not even going to be malicious. It's honestly an act of kindness, really. But, uh, let's get to it, I guess. Don't you dare. Okay, good. I thought it froze. Boom. Oh, no, the blacksmith is super dead. Howdy, veteran. Oh, Otho. I don't know who you are, but you're dead. Oh, well, you're dead, too. Come on. Dead. Ooh, you look important. Well, you look dead now, too. Ooh, you look real important. Praetorian Guard. So these guys... Oh, shit. Wrong button. These guys are the ones that are... Their main job is to protect Caesar. Ooh, so they take a beating. Luckily for me, that doesn't do much good. Oh, but I have animal friends. Doggies. I didn't want to kill you. I wanted to make sure I had it before I came in here so I didn't have to... Sad. Alright, well, time to do some healing. What the f 
fun way. Yes, run, slaves. You are free. You? You are not so free. I don't take that. I was just following orders. Bullshit. Come on. Yeah, there's, there's really very little area for you to run here, buddy. Yeah. Good try, though. Uh, so there's still enemies, but they're mostly in that direction. So I'm going to clear out this half of the camp of loot. And then go that way. Oh yeah, Lupa's brain. So yeah, this is the basically the mother of all of the... Well, I guess not the, the mother of all the dogs. But basically, she's the matriarch to the Legion's dogs. And I just got her brain. Much like Violetta's brain. Uh, there's also a third brain I can get. But it requires doing something evil or already having the quest. So it's going to be a while before I get that one, if I get that one. Which I may not have to. Hello, slave. Hello. Oh, you have a name. Excuse me. Hi, Siri. Excuse me. Okay. Well, I guess she's not going to talk to me now, which is fine. I mean, she was, as far as I know, she was like the cook slave. She did all of the cooking and cleaning there because as a woman, she's apparently vastly inferior and therefore not worth doing anything other than cooking and cleaning. But she was in charge of the other ones because she was vastly superior to the other slaves. It's, it's convoluted bullshit and sexism is what it is. So at this point, we're about half done the camp. There's still an entire section over there. And this tent leads into basically where Caesar is. So we're not going to do that yet because I want something before I go in there. So this is the other side of the camp. You know, just a little corridor. Oh, wait, no, it expands out into another entire section. I don't think there's any enemies over here or anything to really loot. Yeah, no, we're good. So let's go down here and finish off the last few Caesar's Legion people we have over here. Hi, friend. Meet the Super Sledge. Hey, I said meet the super sledge. You too, buddy. Come here. Come here. Don't you run away from me. Come here. That's even better. I think Boone just, like, emptied a clip into his head. I like that you're not doing anything to get up. Please, continue doing that. You, Mr. Chainsaw, buddy. Just just stand that's there. That's the last of the ammo. Well, that's the last of the ammo. Shoots into the guy's chest. What ammo did you use for that? I'm intrigued by this no ammo situation you seem to be in. It sounds magical. Let's see what's on the other side of this gate. Oh, look, there's a Brahmin and a little girl. Hi, Melody. Yeah, what do you want? What? Okay. Hey there, miss. Can I help you with something? All right. Normally, she tells you about how she's missing a teddy bear and she wants help to get the teddy bear back from one of the Legionnaires. But uh, I'm assuming because I've killed them all, that's no longer an issue she needs to worry about. Could be wrong. I'm not certain. Let's see if there's something in here. There you are. Hi. Yeah, I've been here the entire time. You're like, whoa, that is rude. Had enough? And really painful. Yeah, thank you for running away. Ow. Oh, there's another one alive. I thought they were all dead, and then you just kind of appeared out of nowhere. I can't hit you? I don't like this. There we go. Thank you. Go away. Yes, meet wall. Now meet hammer. Oh, or just die early. That's good, too. Okay. So those those three dead. Just a second. Alright, so this room that I'm in right now, this weather-looking station. Is there a knife? There's no knife. Basically, you put the... Activate console. Yeah, you can put the platinum chip in here. It opens up the hatch. You go into the hatch, and that's where you have to go to upgrade the robots. Is down there. And Mr. Harris will send you there once you have the platinum chip. But, I want the platinum chip. And I also haven't spoken to Mr. Harris about how I lost the platinum chip. Sort of. Again. Uh, but that's beside the point. The point right now is, I'm here to kill Caesar, and Benny's here with the platinum chip. But I want to kill Caesar with a fucking knife for historic propriety, but nobody in this entire goddamn fucking camp has anything other than a fucking machete. Why? Why don't they have knives? What, did he ban them? Was he like, hmm... The original Caesar was stabbed in the back with a knife. No knives! They're outlawed. All women are slaves, and knives are illegal. Like, where was the... Uh, saving. Fuck it. I'm gonna kill him without a knife. I'm gonna hammer them all to death. Alright. I'm gonna do a quick once-over with some drugs. I'm gonna charge in and take on Caesar and his guards. What drugs do I want to take? Let's start with some buff out. And 
defense. So jet. Oh great, I'm addicted to jet. Take some fixer. Thanks. Oh nice. Medics. Oh hey, day tripper perp. Nice. Mentats, I don't know why, but sure. Right foods. Psycho. Radex, rebound. Oh, yeah, that should do it. What the fuck is da oh great, I'm addicted to medics now too. So fixer. So what's the day tripper perk? Day tripper. You have enough chems to know how long how to hang on the effects just a while longer. Oh good, drugs last longer. Great. So another kill my name. Good. Oh that's boom. That is boom. Okay. Well that's not <laughs> that didn't go well. Ooh. Oh, Eddie's unconscious. That could very well be my fault. It also could be this army of freaking blasting gloves we could fight in here. I'm just swinging like crazy. <laughs> I think Benny's dead, too. Oh, shit, I'm dying. Okay, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. So they like to bounce you around a lot. Because they, uh, they got these displacer gloves that fire a bunch of different directions. It's not fun. Uh, where's my stim bounce? I'm gonna do that. A bunch of that. Oh good, my health's already maxed out. Uh oh. My armor condition's low. Oh boy, is it ever. Still protecting me fairly good though. I also just got camel wasteland. Camel oh, frequently water because I led to improve benefits of Oh nice. What is this? Is this heal more? I guess it just heals more. Alright. I'm just gonna keep swinging like a madman. And see if it helps. So far, yes. Hey. Whoa, that echo, though. Hey. Hey. I don't know, do you? Woohoo! I don't like going for. Oh, boy. Do not like that. Didn't I get stone walls so this shit doesn't happen? Oh, boom. You don't look comfy. Alright, well, let's try vats. Why can't I vats? There we go. There we go. One went flying. Had enough? Come on. I mean, you're still alive, so guess not. Ho oh, ho. Yes. Gosh. All right. So Boone is. He's, he's uh, taking a nap. So is Eddie. Ah, I leveled up. Whew. I'm gonna deal with that in just a moment. I'll do. Okay. So Eddie startled the shit out of me because he like bounced upwards, and then I look over in the corner and Boone just like, ah, I'm good. Just random kung fu fighting. Oh boy. Oh hey Benny. Okay good. You didn't die. Oh I'll be there in a second. I'm just gonna loot L of. Uh, see. Okay. What is? What am I on? What? Is this just fixer or am I still addicted to something? Buff out, fixer, medic, psycho. I'm just on everything. Right. That'll do it. Perception minus two. Does that put me in negative perception? Nope, I just can't do it. Gotcha. I'm going to loot everybody anyway. Hi, Lucius. I'm going to take your arm. I don't even care. I'm going to take everyone's fucking arm. Because as I originally stated, I don't even fucking care. Give me your shit, motherfuckers. Ah, so there's, there's Caesar. Super dead. I'm going to take his clothes, too. It's mine now. Everyone's armor is mine. Oh, look, a pre war. Oh, God, there's pre war books. I want something important. Oh, Legion Slave Ledger. That should be useful in some way. So, there is some interesting history about what's going on with Caesar, which comes up with this thing right here. I'm not going to talk about it because my uh, I'm going to have to make another character that works with Caesar. So, I'm just going to let that character reveal all that to you because she or he will uh, be doing it. Hi, Benny. You're a scrapper, baby. They didn't stand a chance. How about me? I tried talking. What happens if I let you go? Baby, that can go any direction you want. We can take Vegas together, or I can head for the nearest sunset. Your call. Hmm. I'll oh, set you free. That's it, baby. That's a lot of karma I just gained. Alright, and now where does he go? I've never actually just released him before. I don't know what he's going to do. Where are you going, Benny? I'm interested in following you. Are you going to turn right or left? Okay, so you're, so you're heading back to Vegas then? 
bank, bank. Change in plans? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess, yeah. You think murdering? I mean, you did it first? Where's my fucking... You know what? This just seems like a job for someone getting shot in the head, doesn't it? Oh, I guess I can't really shoot him in the head effectively, but, uh... You know what? I really want to take out his legs. So if I can cripple his legs, I'm set. Damn, this is a good pistol. Perfect! Oh, it must be real annoying to have someone shoot you. And, uh... Wait, wait, wait. Take that. Take your shoot. Tell me. How does this feel? Hmm. Not that good, it looks like. I do like Maria, though. That's a pretty gun. That is a very pretty gun. Alright. So that was that. He didn't have the platinum chip. Do I have the platinum chip now? Was Caesar holding platinum chip? Is that why I didn't have to kill? I thought he had the platinum chip still somehow. Where the fuck is the platinum chip? Oh, there it is. Well, um, just a second. You get to live since I already have the platinum chip and all that. I'm not gonna kill him. Not yet. Turns on me, then I will. I thought he had the platinum chip. It's the only reason I attacked him. I don't need to. Not gonna take off. So that is Caesar Legion Camp. There was something else I wanted to do. Uh, what was it? You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's mark it. Do something much more much more calming uh, I'm gonna take some motherfucking pictures let's, uh, let's get that camera out fuck's the, there it is Kodak uh, there's the camera beautiful I don't know how this fucking thing works but he wants a picture of this dino let's get a picture of the dino I know the perfect spot to get that fucking picture too. Let's get the scope thing. Oh, it does. Oh, we need to back up. We need to get a better view of this thing here. Eddie, Eddie, I need you to not be in the shot. You know, I need the lighting is all off. This is just this, this is typical. Oh, that's that's gonna be the one. But I need it to be daytime to get this just just right. Perfect. Okay, so let's just back it up a little bit. I need to get it all in the shot. And Eddie, Eddie, buddy, fuck off. Perfect. Picture one down. Next, let's head on over to Prim. So he just wanted the sign too. Yeah, I think he just wanted the. Oh, he probably wanted that. Yeah. Alright. Uh, what was the other ones? Oh, yes. Helios 1. Yep. I can get that. And I can get uh, Camp McCarran. Get Helios 1 first. I don't know what he wanted a picture of at Helios 1. Was it the Helios 1 sign? Okay. You're just a guard dog. Was it that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was the sign. Is he like, he's into neon signs. So, like, I could get a picture of the tower, but I don't think, I didn't think that's what he was looking for. So. I didn't take a picture of it. All right, Camp McCarran. I think that's what he wants right there. Yeah. All right, cool. The only one that's left is one that I haven't been to yet. You know what? It's not that far away. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. It's right over there. Let's go see the uh, Sunset Sass Brother Boys. I got a Displacer Glove to try out. Do I want to try the Displacer Glove or do I want to try Ballistic Fist? Let's go Ballistic Fist. I'm... I'm feeling... Oh, jeez, now that's way too slow. We're going back to the golf club. Let's get that golf club out. That's the stuff. Alright, I'm going to head on over to the Sunset Tesoro bottling plant, just so I can mark it on my map for one, um, as well as take a picture of it. But I'm not going to do anything inside of it yet. What is that enemy over there? Oh, I guess they're... Oh. No. 
Not what I'm aiming at. There's a cluster of probably fiends right up there. Come here. Not my problem. Okay, there are landmines everywhere. <laughs> I somehow managed to not take a whole lot of damage from that despite walking through a minefield. I'm proud of myself. I am alive. Some bottles over there. Yeah, so that's that. What is this? It looks like there's... Oh, no, never mind. I just pointed the bottom pad. So in Nuka... Fallout 3, I don't think there's anything for Nuka. But Fallout 4 has a bottling plant. Fallout 3, or Fallout New Vegas, has... Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle. Look at that thing. You can see why you want a picture. Alright, I need, I need to get it perfect. Get the, get the camera out. Jeez. Can't take a picture of it unless you get the full... Oh no, no, that's still still not enough. Alright, alright. Oh, that'll that'll have to do. That's actually fairly close to perfect. There we go. Now I just gotta go return to Michelangelo for my reward. I just gotta mark Sunset Sasperil bottling plant on my radar here. And bam. Hmm. Sunset Sasperilla headquarters. That's also where we're, gonna, where we're gonna go to talk to Festus about the blue stars. But we're not there yet. So instead, let's just return to Michelangelo. Uh, maybe. Who's in Novak? I got one other thing I'm gonna try and turn in for the, excuse me, not Caesar's Legion, fuck Caesar's Legion. For the, for the strip. Okay, let's try this one. This looks right. Hi. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Hello, Mr. Isaac. Oh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? I don't. What do you think that? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. I am that. Uh, aren't you the singer from New Reno? I think I saw you to play the clubs there. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. I feel like Tommy Torini's looking tops. Really? The tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Really Mr. tight. Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I mean, I do, I'll but that's something completely Thanks. different. No problem. Uh, why would Mr. Bishop be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Is it? Mr. Bishop? Well, he owed me a lot of money. And, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. <laughs> you robbed a casino boss. Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Robbed. Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. <laughs> a little. <laughs> That's, that takes some balls, man. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, oh. my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. I mean, they're pretty big for it. Tough break. Good luck with that. Thanks. No problem. Oh, man. I don't think I need to ask why he came here from New Reno. I just got the answer. All right, so that was that guy. There's still one more person, and I think I know exactly who it is. Yeah. I knew it. It is this guy. I thought he was the other person I could get recruited. Well, if it isn't my number one fan... Uh, I got someone who's willing to hire you. Too bad I got this ironclad contract. Hmm. I can talk to the Garrett to try to let him go. Huh. Good luck. Garrett's a tough... Uh-huh. I have a sex robot for him. Hey, Mr. Garrett. Doesn't look good. This buildup of forces between the NCR and Legion. It's not good at all for business in the long run. I mean, Caesar's dead. War, conflict over. I just, uh, I just wiped out all of the Legion. Now there's still an army. Uh, I'd like to get him out of his contract. Now why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. He's not the right fit for this place. You'll find better performers. But how much do you lose in folk not coming into a place with a cool performer? I admit that thought had crossed my mind. Racism. Right. Maybe I'd do better with a human act. Mm. He's all yours. Alrighty. Any luck with Garrett? Yep. Yep. I uh, can go to the top work. Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? Yep. Have fun, man. Alright, so that's two quests we're gonna go turn in on the strip. It shouldn't be long before the 
both of which I've never actually completed of before. So this will be interesting new information for me. I'm excited. Super, like, eerily quiet in here. Making me kind of uncomfortable. Not even any background music. Did everyone die? I mean, they did at the Ultralux. Wonder who did that. Whoa, so many people. Okay, where's where's Tommy? Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. Okay, there's an arrow pointing at him, but he's... Oh, he's right there. Well, well, well. If it ain't the best love cat on the strip in my theater, what could Tommy do for you, baby? Uh-huh. Uh, uh suck the axe I recruited. Cowboy act. Yeah. He dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. All right. And like we agreed, here's your fee. Five percent of the cut comes to 166 caps. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. Let's talk about the other axe I recruited. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Trump Here's up. your five percent, baby. You enjoy that. Okay. That comedian, you mean? Yeah. He was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Nice. Hope he's worth it. Here's your five percent. Nice. That ugly mug with the razor tongue? <laughs> Take it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your five percent. Nice. Sounds great. You know it, baby. Glad I could help. Uh, what other tainment is a strip? Tell me about this theater. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rat Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. You know, it's really like the only show. Well, you were the only show. See, Benny? Dig it, baby. He beat feet to his sweet. You scare the big boss man or something? Boy, I scared him bad. All right. Take, take it easy. Sweet. I'm liking the strip. I'm going to see if Benny's in his suite now. Because it sounds like he might be. Okay, okay, well, I guess they were just talking about him running to his suite when he was trying to go through the suite to escape last time. He has, because he's not here right now. Shame. I guess we're not going to have words yet. Well, hello indeed. Wake up. Aha, the brave photographer returns. Good to see you. I have some fresh pictures for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Just what I need. Thank you, brave one. Here's some compensation for your work. That's some good money. Uh, took all the pictures you wanted. There was something about a reward. You have earned it, my nice. friend. Nice. Now good. I can finally unveil my masterpieces to the world, all thanks to you. Come visit me again sometime. All right. Do I get to keep the camera? Apparently, yes. Yes, I do. I wonder what I can do with that. Um, yeah. Eddie. And Boone. Yeah. The best. I want to try something. I'm going to see if I... Because I'll explain it when I get there. Who are you, weird scientist lady? Are you important? Amelia? Excuse me, Emily but Orkel. are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Maybe. Yes. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Okay. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. I do know. Uh, and this is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. That's fair. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help. Many of whom suffer from hard to diagnose illnesses. Hmm. Uh, Dr. Courier diagnoses a terminal low discussion of caps. Wow. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you they will be worth plenty of caps. Alright. Alright, I'll do it. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Sounds good. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. Okay. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Sounds good. So there is a terminal that we can hit with that. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network? N no. So normally she just bum rushes you there, and that's why that just went completely weird. Um, but yeah, so there's a terminal like up over there you can hit with this bug. And she's just like, oh yeah, it was plugged in, and then Wait, it immediately got cut off. So I'm wondering if putting it on a different terminal in a different area makes that not happen, 
especially since I can think of a very specific terminal that I want to try, but I don't know if it'll work. Until then, I want to try something else. Still can't. Okay. So these things. I've always wondered what you could do with these things. And I thought maybe the camera. You know, I got some pictures in here. Maybe I can put them up in there. But it doesn't look like it. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do a quick Google search. Well, I just did extensive search. And uh, there's literally nothing on the internet I could find about these three things. I tried searching wall mounts. I tried searching fucking... Uh, picture frames or putting things in the walls in the Lucky 38 presidential suite there's nothing there's like literally nothing about this I'll do some more research later if I figure it out you'll be the first to know because it'll go in it'll be like the first thing I do in the video afterwards but for now as the end of this episode I can't remember what I told you I was going to do in the next episode but hey we'll do it in the next episode and then we'll know but for now you guys have a wonderful night